In this dev vlog, I'd like to show one of my favorite features in using the Reels application framework, uh, namely Rake Tasks. So Rake Tasks, Rake Tasks for me are something like a command line utility that you can run in isolation that performs a particular task, which also contextualizes your entire Rails application code base. One example of this would be Rake DB Migrate that allows you to perform changes in your database via migration files. Um, another would probably be Rake Routes, which displays all the routes that are configured in your routes.rb file. Now, aside from the built-in Rake commands that are included with the Rails application framework, the, um, another nice feature is that you can actually create your own Rake tasks. And to demo this, we'll be creating a Rake task that's contextualized in one of the projects I'm doing. So I'm creating a, um, I'm maintaining a loans management uh, application. And I have a bit of a problem because there are some records given by the model loan whose status is either active or paid. However, the date released value is not present. So if you do a count against this query from the Rails console, we can see that we have 11 records that do not have a date released value. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to have values for the date released according to, well at least for these records, according to its date approved value. So by the console, I could have always done the following and then update each object and say that the date released is equal to the date approved for that particular loan. However, I'd like to have this particular routine as a custom rake command or a custom rake task so that the next time it happens, uh, in any case that it, something like this happens again, I can simply run that command and it will perform this particular logic. So in order to create that rake command, we have to edit a file or create a file under the lib tasks directory. So you can see here I have a bunch of rake, um, rake tasks or rake files and they end with a dot rake extension. So let's say I have another custom rake task. I will put it under the correction dot rake file again under this directory live tasks. And usually the convention is that for the name of the rake file, in this case correction, we have a namespace for it. So we say namespace correction, okay, symbol correction, do block, and within that do block, within that namespace, we declare our tasks. So in this case, I'd like to create a task given by the ta task uh, function and pass the name of the task that I'd like to create. In this case, let's say fill date released. Now, since these rake tasks often run in a particular environment, then it means that we have to contextualize this particular task for the specified environment that you're running in. So then the syntax will be arrow environment. And then within the do block of this particular task, you would run the custom code that you'd like this rake task to ex execute. In this case, I'd like to get all loans first whose status is either active or paid, at the same time does not have a date released value. Given those loans, I can loop against each of them and update their O dot, or rather their date approved, or rather date released value according to the date approved. Just so we have an initial value for these uh, loans that do not have a date released value. Now, since this, this is just uh, plain Ruby code, we can actually include some text-based interface when we run this particular task. Uh, and just to demonstrate this, before trying to run that code, just comment this out first. Let's just put some text here. Hello world. Should have started with this. And we run the following tasks accordingly. So we say rake correction, fill date released. Okay. So similar to our built-in rake db migrate rake task, the namespace takes in the first position of the rake task, colon followed the by the actual task name. In this case, fill date released. 
it will run at a particular environment so often when you run this in production you might want to include the rails and equals production environment variable but since i'm in my development environment then i can simply run this and it should expect to print out the text hello world as you can see here accordingly now that we have our rake task in place i can now comment out the actual logic and put in some text interface say, prob say probably something like fixing loans okay. and at the same time i'd like to have a progress to see how long the task still would have to run before it's actually accomplished so i'd like to have some sort of progress variable that i'd like to print something like puts progress x percent for example just to display how much progress has already been um, being uh, done for this particular task now to do that what i can do is i can probably get the size of the loans to know how many loans still have to be processed for this particular task and i can compute the progress by having some sort of index to indicate um, uh, by which 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 particular loan is already being processed at what particular index and probably ratio it out against the size of the loans okay so i i like to have something like the progress will be equal to the index of the loan the position of that loan divided by the size of the loan uh, multiplied by a hundred to give out that nice uh, percentage uh, form so luckily for us we can actually do that in ruby by using the each with index loop Okay, in order to include another variable in this anonymous block, this code block, the parameters for this block will be O, representing each record or each element of the loan's array, and I, representing the index of that loan uh, in a zero-based fashion. So it means that my progress should actually be I plus 1. Right? So this one will give, if it, it were the first loan, then it means it's processing loan 1 out of the number of loans that are currently being processed i have to make sure that this one is a floating number and the entire thing can be rounded off to two decimal pl places so i'll have a round two right here okay, which will give me the value for progress now in order to print out the progress i'll use printf instead of puts so I can format the, uh, the text that's been displayed and I can say something like progress is equal to progress percent. Okay, now when using printf, the percent sign actually means an escape character. So we'd like to escape the actual percent sign. So we have to use a double percentage sign. Okay. Now I want to print out the progress in the same line when we actually run this code. So I'll have to print out a another escape character backslash r so the cursor actually goes to the beginning of the line before it prints out another printf after that particular loop i can then say printf some new line and then finally i can say done just to indicate that the task is actually done okay. so before i run this just do a recap for the custom rate task we create a custom rate task and put it under lib tasks directory have an extension dot rake correction dot rake the name of the topmost namespace will be correction according to the name of the file you can have multiple tasks in this case i just have a single task inside the do block of the namespace i'll call that task task fill date released make it point to the current environment and perform the actual logic which is just simple ruby code and as you can see the code of your entire real app is already contextualized so we can use things like the loan model that we currently have in our um, application okay. we have some text to print out the progress within the same line before finally printing done okay. to see if this rake task is working we can call rake correction colon fill fill date released we had originally 11 loans as you can see here the progress actually computed within the same line and finally printing out the text done just to confirm we can go to the rails console and count how many loans have a nil 
or in null date released that are also active in pain. And now we have zero. Right, so this is just a short devlog to show how we can create custom rate tasks that you can use for various objectives within your Rails application, which you can run from the command line. Okay, so that's it for this devlog.